Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we are going to be doing some more timeless cup practice I tried two different teams out against Ramberto. Ramberto always a really a tough competitor uh, He's rocking Dragonair, Victory Bell, Haunter, Venomoth, Swampert, Lapras And then I'm rocking Dragonair, Venusaur, Ludicolo Definitely a mistake pairing up those two grasses I really should have used Sceptile um, But whatever Uh Kingdra, Haunter, and Lapras. So my team is very weak to Venomoth. Three of my Pokemon get absolutely walled by by Venomoth. So um, not going to be a very good situation for me. So I lead off with Haunter. Um, Haunter, like, it's okay against this team. Like, I'm mostly looking to burn some shields and that kind of stuff, right? So Haunter into Victory Bell. So Haunter wins in the zero and the one shield. I know for sure he's coming in with uh, with Venomoth. So my goal with Haunter was actually just to burn some shields and then come in with Kingdra with the shield advantage. Uh, and he doesn't shield. And uh, pretty sure this is going to be a silver win. And it is. And I'm going to look to farm him down. And he's like pretty close to a poison fang so it's actually a little closer than i thought um and then here comes victory bell victory bell is absolutely gonna decimate uh lapras so it's gonna let it go get the surf off do a little bit of damage and then come in with haunter and i'm gonna put a ton of pressure onto onto his victory bell and so close to getting off another charge move uh, unfortunately not able to and I don't want this victory bell to do too much damage onto my Kingdra which is the reason why I decided to shield and then Kingdra with up a shield is is very good and plus with these like additional damages from the shadow claw in this case it ends up being a haunter in the back and I can just literally just dragon breath down this haunter and I can put the shield and then I'm gonna take the, the first match. But man, like my team, I do not recommend using this team, but I'm just gonna try to show you some some matchups. Uh, Lapras, Venomoth, uh, and I think he realizes this later, Lapras and Venomoth is a core that like basically beats my entire team. Um, what beats Venomoth? Like uh, Dragonair, Kingdra does okay against it. And in Lapras, but Lapras then beats two of them, um, and then goes even with with Lapras, right? So uh, it's very tricky for for me to navigate. Um, and I come in with Lapras, and he meets me with Victory Bell. So I switch out into Dragonair, and he comes in with Lapras. So not a great situation for me. Uh, so I'm going to try to do as much damage as possible. This is where like having like a dragon pulse like might be able to do a, quite a bit of damage and he recognizes that uh he this uh uh this dragon air is doing a ton of damage not able to get off that aqua tail unfortunately and like i'm not in a great situation uh because he is a head-on energy so i really need to get this skull bash and he lands the bait, which is pretty pretty huge for him. Um, end up like not mattering too much. I'm also in a like a garage because uh, my car was in for some repairs. That's why I have like constantly weak connection. And I switch out into Kingdra, hoping to do as much damage as possible. He comes in with Venomoth. Uh, I am not in a good situation at all. I really shouldn't have, uh, you know, debatable on how I should have played this out. Um, I think I could have got to, I could have got to another charge move, um, and then potentially just ate the, the silver win. He does a really good job here by not letting me farm him down, or like potentially farm me down. I should have ate the charge move, then double surf or something like that. I don't know. I don't know how necessarily to play this out, but... Because he still has a shield, and I still—I uh, don't know. I would have had to—I would have had to farm down his Venomoth. So um, I could have not shielded, got the outrage off, came in with Lapras, um, you know, 
farmed him down, get off two serves, hit a serve, KO it, and then, and then, uh, 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 it's tricky. Anyways, so well, well played on his side. So this Venomoth is a huge pain for me, but I kind of need uh, Venusaur and Ludicolo. Venusaur or Ludicolo. This way it would have been better if I had Sceptile, because at least with Sceptile, he can't switch in, or he could switch in, but it'd be very difficult for him to switch in a Venomoth onto, um, especially if I have uh, Aerial Ace. Um, yeah, it's difficult for him to switch in. And I'm lagging a little bit here. I don't know if like this hunter hunter I guess uh hunter slightly beats yeah, I'm definitely behind on um on uh yeah, I lagged a little bit there. I had like really weak connection and then he also had a pretty weak connection as well. And as you can see, oh he's uh yeah, we both have pretty terrible connections. Um anyways <laughs> I try to line it up but it's um, anyways. It's a bit you know it worked out, but to be about the same. Um, I think I gained a little bit more energy, and he goes for the skull bash. You're doing this like awkward dance, basically, like uh, when um, when you're like la when they're lagging, and then you you stop, and then they start, and they think you're lagging because you stopped. It's like, very 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 weird. Anyways, um, I think I let this go. Oh, no. I, well, I really should have let it go, to be honest. But uh, it allows me to actually KO. And he has Venomoth in the back. So I'm going to try to do as much damage as I can. And get one more off. And shields. And I'm in okay. And then I realized I'm like, oh nope, this has way less health than I thought. Uh, I still I still like in a fine position to be honest. So um, even it hits you the silver one here. It's still still fine. Oh, he gets the boost though, which is not great for me. And I survived with like one HP, able to get it off. Not one HP, but very low HP. So I take uh, that particular match. Yeah, sep pairing Sceptile would have made way more sense with Ludicolo, um, with Aerial Ace. In a, especially if I if I get like an energy advantage, um, like sixteen energy, for example, which is not totally unheard of. Um, I, I guess I still lose the one shield, but I put up like a pretty decent fight uh, with Aerial Ace. He, he's able to hit me with super effective on, on the poison fags, but I can win the, the two two shield matchup. But that's like double baiting. Uh, anyways, it, it you know potentially would have been better. Yeah. Anyways, okay. Um, several of these matchups go pretty terribly for me. Uh, he goes, you know, Hunter into Lapras. He switches out into, man, that switch mechanic just, and I really should have went into Dragonair. Um, as soon as I saw the Lapras and I should, well, as soon as I saw the switch out, I should have went into Dragonair. Um, yeah. Okay. And I'm lagging a little bit here, trying to get off the charge move. It doesn't really matter. This is not going to, oh, I guess it would have KO'd potentially. But it doesn't matter. He shielded. Uh, so he goes for the Poison Fang. And KO the Venomoth. And he's going to come back in with Lapras. I'm like, not in a good situation at all. So I'm like, okay, let's just put on some shield pressure. Um, fortunately, I was way too slow on the switch. And... I have tons of weak connection here. So I go for the home run hit, hoping that he doesn't shield. Because that's really the only way I was going to win. I, uh, well, debatably, if I would have landed, uh, I could have landed two shadow punches. 
and Shadow Punch would have did. Uh, let's see, forty-seven of one hundred and forty. Uh, man, there's no way. Maybe I would have been able to Dragon Breath him down. I definitely would have been able to Dragon Breath him down uh, before he got off this surf. If I would have went double Shadow Punch, uh, or in this case a Skull Bash, but I don't even know what's in the back. It doesn't really matter. So, unless what he had in the, uh, I don't know, was that at a no. Uh, it only does 47 of 181. Uh, one, 47 of 181 is 20, just over 25%. So he definitely would have still been able to survive um, even with that. So it was just like bad team comp and like bad switch-ins on, on my – and this I make <laughs> – and he definitely has Venomoth in every lineup. I have no idea why I picked two Pokemon weak to Venomoth. Um, because, like, if I don't catch the Venomoth, then I'm definitely going to lose. So, <laughs> so I end up against the Venomoth. So I'm like, oh, well, this is terrible. And I switch out uh, into Dragonair. I have to shield. Like, this is my only Venomoth counter. And he comes into, into Lapras. I really should have uh, just hit the return because uh, this matchup with Lapras is not really that important to me because um, I have Ludicolo in the back. And if he, no, I, so I should have hit the, even then he might have farmed me down either way. So, so at this point in time, I realized that I am definitely done for. So I'm not going to shield. This is just going to be a surf. of so I go for the ice beam here uh, you know so I switch out into haunter at this point in time I'm like okay I'm definitely gonna lose uh, I'm not gonna I you know I probably could have played this out um, a little bit I don't know if I was shielded here though it only takes like a couple confusions for for me to be KO'd so Maybe if I would have shielded uh, the Aqua Tail, the, like how many confusions does it take? Five, four, four. Four confusions. No, is that right? Yeah, four confusions. Each of them do 25, so it's like really no. And I'm doing 16 damage, so. I need to get rid of that Lapras. What I should have done here was I should have uh, comes in with Victory Bell, which is fine for me. And then I go for the return to KO this Victory Bell before it gets to a Leaf Blade. And then I'm able to take it out, which is fine. Here comes Lapras, which is fine for me again. Go for the return, uh, do a decent amount of damage onto this Lapras. And then I come in with Ludicolo. And I let this go. He ends up surfing me. And then I take it out. And then. Here, I, uh, you know, I slightly misplayed by staying in a little too long. I guess I want, I didn't want to come in with an energy disadvantage. And with this switch in, this really slow switch in, um, I'm always going to be behind. So now he's already at a silver win. Um, and really what I, oh, okay. Now he's going to, now he's enough for two charge moves. Goes for the poison fang. Uh, I really shouldn't have gone for the surf. I should have just, he's like, two more ice shards away from being KO'd. Um, so I kind of give him like a little bit more of a chance than, than I should have. And he only has enough energy for another Poison Fang, so it's not that big a deal. Even if this was Silverwind, um, Ludicolo would have been able to KO it with one uh, Razor Leaf before the 
Confusion could get through anyway, so. Pretty lucky in that matchup, catching the lead. Yeah, anyways, I'm in this terrible, well, not terrible shot. The shot was fine. It was just, the, it was a very, uh, well, like concrete wall, so. And then he's like, yeah. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. I think I run into his Venomoth here. And no, I ended the victory belt, which is terrible for me. And he comes in to Lapras. And he actually lets me KO his Lapras, which I which I went a little bit surprising. But the thing is, like, I don't have uh, a good answer for this victory bell. Yeah, I am at a Terrible situation regardless. So I come into Ludicolo. Uh, I think I let this go. Like, or maybe I shield this. I really sh nah, I don't know. Maybe I should have shielded. And then I'm lagging a little bit here, but it doesn't really matter. It's a lost match anyways. Um, Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> anyway, this this I lose this match regardless, anyways, because his victory belt could just come back in. So I'm like, okay, I, I might as well just concede. Yeah, there you go, GG. All right, let's see how I do on this next match. I try to bring in Venusaur. I'm like. Okay, if I get lined up with his victory bell, at least like I have like potentially a little bit better matchup. Uh, so I end up in a pretty terrible matchup. But the thing is, like, it. Oh my gosh, it, this uh, this lag is definitely. Um, it, we were actually lagging on both sides. Like you should see in the next set of matches, you like it, we have this like awkward lag here and there, and this. Matchup, anyways, I do quite a bit of damage. I come in with Venusaur. Uh, I know this is just going to be a surf, and I'm going to look to farm down. You can tell that he's lagging a little bit here on his ice shards, too. And I need to hit uh, because I know his Venomoth's coming in, so I go for the Sludge Bomb before Confusion. This is like where the switch window would have been, is so critical here. Um, anyways, this game is, she does a pretty decent chunk. And I switch out, he switches out as well. And then I'm in a pretty, oh, pretty bad matchup. Oh, okay, <laughs> so we go for this. And I go for the skull bash, uh, only because, uh, well, it's kind of a stupid move on my part to go for the skull bash, but I try to like, Anyway, would I be able to get off another surf? Mm, that's probably a mistake on my part. Is I could have went for two surfs, and perhaps that would have been enough. And then I'm like fainting with no, sh um, by using no shield. So, anyways, I, um, and let's see here. Can I? Is there any situation where I can beat this? Uh, I'm getting absolutely destroyed by Rimberto right now. Uh, so I can beat Lapras. Well, actually, no. That's with the uh, Dragon Pulse. Let's see here. Yeah, man, I have to use two shields in order to beat Lapras. It's not ideal at all. So we in, end up in the Skull Bash mirror match. So I'm going to do the Skull Bash. And... I think I decided not to shield. Total mistake on my part. And 
I really should have uh, shielded here. But I was like, I'm hoping for a bait. But that wasn't going to happen, so... And then he's clearly going for the Skull Bash. Uh, he doesn't end up getting it, so he doesn't want to spend two shields on it. Um, I really shouldn't have shielded because I don't think he he was at a Skull Bash yet. But I just got too paranoid in my mind, and that ended up like costing me. I think he was at seven ice shards. And this is not going to KO me, it's just a poison fang, but can I get to it? Oh, no, I cannot. So that ended up being really costly for me and leaves me in a pretty terrible situation. And I really shouldn't have shielded it either. And then here's the mistake I did. I should have like recognized that he's he. we're going to end up in a CMP tie. And in that situation, I should have just fainted down. Yeah, like, uh, I don't know if I would have still won this match because um, six turns, uh, no, I don't think so because uh, it takes six turns to get to Aqua Tail and then uh, uh, only five for him to get to the first Shadow Punch. So I would have lost anyways, but maybe I would have had, like, a little bit more of energy advantage. Like, I potentially could have caused a CMP tie. Uh, but oh regardless so anyways I go in with this second team this time this team is yeah is Dragonair uh, Celio Quagsire Castform Blaziken uh, Lapras and then he's rocking the same team I actually completely forgot in uh, <laughs> in one of these matches that he had Swampert as his starter because he didn't bring Swampert because I had two grass types um, then obviously here I have two fire types and Swampert is like pretty decent against this team uh, it basically doesn't lose absolutely against any of these, these Pokemon. And as well, I have no grass on this team. Um, so his Venomoth's obviously going to be much harder to play. His uh, Victory Bell is like, I have uh, three waters on this team. Uh, does pretty, pretty well against uh, all three. Uh, so let's see how he's going to decide to play it out. I go Celio into Haunter. And, ah, man, I have never done this matchup. Well, I don't know that I've never done this matchup. I've probably done it in Recommended before. Uh, but even though Haunter double resists, it still does, like, a pretty decent chunk. So I th let's see here. So it's basically a CMP tie. Like, I just need to go. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, lagging there. Somehow he beat me to... Uh, So I had to switch out because lagging too much. Uh, and he goes for the Shadow Punch. So I'm, I'm in a terrible situation right now. Yeah, it should have been a CMP tie of the one. Uh, even the two shields, you can just go straight Body Slam, and then we end up CMP tying to, to the charge moves. Uh, yeah, if he, if he has Shadow Ball. And let this go. And then and I end up in a terrible situation in the back. Uh, I have to shield this because it's going to be a surf. And he comes in with Swampert. And I'm like, okay. Well, this is uh, no point in doing the weather ball because I'm definitely going to be KO'd. I don't know if this KO's. Uh, nope, just barely not. And I had to go in and like, oh man, did he have Swamper? Because he didn't bring it the whole time. And then I realized like, oh, okay, yeah, that's his, uh, his one Pokemon. He didn't bring in the, the first set of matches, so... So I like Celio, um, and then I'm going to go back with the standard core in the back with Lapras and uh, Dragonair. And 
and see how we do. So these Telio into Lapras. So this is actually like a pretty, Lapras can definitely win this matchup. But the thing is, the way it wins this matchup uh, is is uh, if you if you if it lands the unshielded, um, yeah, lands the unshielded skull bash. So, but if I shield the skull bash, then I should win this matchup. Yeah, landing on shield the skull bash would be would be pretty bad. And then um, they don't shield here because this shadow punch is not going to do that much. And then I switch into dragon air again. Not going to shield. This is going to do a decent chunk, uh, but not enough. And I'm going to get enough just to a return. And then I'm going to look to land this return onto Lapras. If it doesn't shield, then I'm going to put a lot of fast move pressure onto it. And then, uh, oh, let's see. I'm going to go for the body slam. Which is going to KO the Lapras. And then I go for another body slam. And then I'm in a pretty good situation against this Swampert. And I switch out. I probably could have landed another body slam and then taken the shield. Uh, but uh, you know, I pl play this a little bit reckless. So he goes for the earthquake. Uh, and then I know he's pretty close to a hydro cannon. I could have shielded because um, he's not, he's not going to have like back to back hydro cannons. As you can see, it takes him like three more. So I'm just gonna shield here. I'm already pretty close. I could have just stayed in last time and um, put some pressure on with uh, body slam. But switching is, is so punishing right now. I wish it affects both sides. It doesn't really matter, but it feels it's something you definitely have to get used to. And I take that particular matchup. And then I lead. So I lead cast form, hoping to catch the Venomoth, Victory Bell, um, even Haunter would be okay. And then I catch Lapras, and then he switches out into Swampert. So I, uh, I really should have switched to Dragonair. <laughs> I don't know why I keep making these mistake switches. And then he hits me with another Earthquake, which I'm, like, okay with. Um, I hit the Surf. I forget what I do here. I'm going to shield this Hydro Cannon. And then I'm going to land this Surf. Which is going to do a pretty... Oh, he ended up shielding. And I forget what I do here. I think I just let it go. And then I come in with Dragon Air. And I think I don't shield this. And I just hit the Aqua Tail because I don't want to get hit by another Hydro Cannon. Um, even though he's probably a, a little, probably like one more Mud Shot. And I switch out into Sunny Cast Form. And I know he's not switching out, so I'm like, for sure he has Victory Bell in the back. And then I'm like, okay, I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. I need to hit this Solar Beam. <laughs> do a ridiculous amount of damage. Boom, one shot it, and then I know he has Victory Bell in the back, and then I can just take it out with this uh, Weather Ball. Weather Ball is such an amazing move. 35 energy. Uh, I forget how much damage it is. It's pretty, it's very good, actually. Let me take, let me just take a look. Um, 35, where is this? 3560. 
um, which is which is great, really good move. Let's see, how does that compare? So that's like the same as Body Slam, better than Aqua Tail and Dragon Claw, not as good as um, Leaf Blade, obviously. So I ended up in this interesting matchup, uh, Quagsire, uh, Lapras. So I can we both can survive, like one charge move from each other. Um, so I'm gonna hit the Stone Edge. Does a pretty decent chunk, but these ice shards are also adding up. Uh, and we're gonna and take. He's gonna take the shield from me, and then I'm gonna hit the. Stone Edge. He ends up, uh, and I switch out into. He switched out into Haunter, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, I I made, I thought it was gonna be Victory Bell, so I immediately switched into uh, Dragon Air. Maybe not the smartest move on my part, to be honest. So, and he shields. Get what I do here. Let it go, and he clearly undercharged that. I'm not sure why. So his Swamper could farm up a little bit, I guess. That makes sense. On your last Pokemon, but taking a decent amount of damage there. And then I'm gonna hit the Surf. And then I know my Quagsire has enough health and energy in the back that I can hit a Charge move. So really, all I have to really do is like put this Swampert into like Stone Edge range, and I should be fine. And I think I end up shielding. And I go for the Surf, and then I'm gonna put him in a very particular situation of, there's no way he can farm down my Quagsire and if he uses energy, then I'm just gonna ice shard him down. So, uh, uh, anyways, um, enough for me to win that match. And I think we have one final match. Let's see. I really like, uh, well, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this team. It's. Uh, you know, trying a different Pokemon. Uh, this is what I like about this cup. There's like quite a wide variety of Pokemon that you can use. So I think I lead with Blaziken. And I end up in uh, Victory Bell versus Blaziken matchup. And oh, ends up lagging a little bit. And then he switches out, and then I just do the blaze kick because I'm like, okay, he probably would have caught me anyways under normal conditions. So I switch out into. I really should have switched Cecilio. I have no idea why. I keep making these wrong switches. I'm not sure why. Like, I'm the one locking this person in, so. Uh, and then he gets me with the mind game, goes for the hydro cannon. I, I would have to shield. Uh, one of them anyway, so it doesn't make that big a difference. Um, well, I guess with Earthquake there, try to KO me. But I want to maintain switch advantage just because I have Pokemon, because I made that mistake switch. And he comes in with Victory Bell, which is fine for me. And here he makes a pretty big mistake. In my opinion, he should have went in with Lapras uh, originally. Um, I guess he wanted to preserve his Lapras's health, and then I just forced him to use a charge move because I didn't want him to save up for Skull Bash, and then just forced him to use a charge move, and then I could end up with in a Celio matchup, and then Celio at full health like should be perfectly fine. I'm gonna oh he ends up lagging a little bit. Because I'm, I'm going to be able to get off two Body Slams before the first Skull Bash gets off. And then I'm going to be able to get off um, a third Body Slam before he's able to uh, get off uh, a Surf. So 
feel pretty comfortable in this matchup. I just couldn't let him farm up too much energy. And it doesn't really matter. This matchup's pretty much over. Anyways, um, so, you know, trying out some interesting Pokemon. Um, I really like Cast Form. I really like Celio. Um, obviously, Dragonair, Kingdra, Lapras, all really good. Um, Ludicolo, if I paired it better, or if I had the first team set up the team a little bit better, then maybe I would have been better off. But certainly, I still certainly think it's viable uh, to run no grass, uh, even though grass is really great because it does a lot of damage to Lapras. And um, but Celio, um, even though they can play the Lapras matchup, it's certainly a harder matchup for them. It's just like you know, Swampert can be Lapras in the one shield, but it's up to. Swampert to make the right decision and make the right calls. Um, Lapras matchup is way more straightforward from from its side. Anyways, I'm gonna leave there. Uh, tell me what you guys like about this. Uh, what teams you're liking and what teams I should be trying out next. And I'll see everyone in the next video.